like to drop out of high school and get a meaningless job that makes me feel bad about myself. I'd like to fall victim to the old boys network. I don't want anybody to notice me. I just want to fly under the radar. I want to splatter against the glass ceiling. I don't have an opinion. I want to be a straight C student. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to come to peer pressure all of my life. I'm going to be a best-selling author <laughs> and win the National Book Award. I'm going to be a marine biologist. Wait, I take my back. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. I think I'll be the president. I'm going to be secretary of state. World-class chef, right here. Race car driver. Artist. Paleontologist. Film director. Surgeon. Teacher. Scientist. Olympian. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to change the world. I just love that spot, so inspiring. Welcome back, I'm Jessica Barbier, your host for the Cox OC Connection. We've got an exciting segment ahead for you today. The Girl Scouts of Orange County are here today to share some exciting news about a vital new program that they're developing here in Orange County. With us today to share more is Nancy and Prashantia. Prashanti, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Great to be here, Jessica. So let's start off and talk about this new STEM initiative and what it means to the Girl Scouts of Orange County. Well, the Girl Scouts um, nationally, as well as us locally, are very committed to the importance of STEM education for girls, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we have here in Orange County two major initiatives. The first is we're constructing a new leadership center in Newport Beach that will open in about a year. We are doing a capital campaign yes. for that as we go. Um, but the second that we're here to talk about today is the development of a STEM consortium um, whose first objective is to create a new Girl Scout of Orange County cadet STEM badge. And talk a little bit about the cadet age and why is it so important to introduce STEM at that age? Well, um, girls typically in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, which is the age for cadets, mm -hmm. is when they either embrace STEM and own it and move forward with it, or they start backing off on it. Mm -hmm. And the, the statistics say that while there's about half of the women are in the workforce, they make up only a quarter of the STEM jobs in the workforce. And by 2018, the STEM-related positions available in our country will have grown by over 17% wow. and all other positions by less than 10%. And here in California, we will have the most STEM jobs of anywhere in the That's country. That's astonishing. So it makes sense for it to be started here in Orange County. Absolutely. So I know you've been doing a lot of outreach, talking to companies that want to be involved. What companies so far have raised their hand and said, we want to be involved? Well, we're talking to about a dozen major science, technology, engineering, and math companies. But so far, five have signed up, and we've got others that are deep into the discussions. So first of all, our partners from Broadcom were our uh, founding members that we've partnered with in bringing this consortium um, to reality. And then, of course, I have to thank <laughs> Cox Communications for being a partner. But in addition to that, we have Ingram Micro, Pamco, and Western Digital. Great. And the reason we're bringing together those businesses because you all are the ones that are the experts on STEM. We're the experts on the girls. So mm -hmm. it's a great partnership. And speaking of Broadcom and from a company perspective, um, I would love to know why did Broadcom get involved? Why did you guys raise your hand and say, we want to be the first ones at the table to work on this initiative? Well, at Broadcom, we inspire young minds to pursue a career in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics by collaborating with community partners such as Girl Scouts. And uh, we have a number of programs in place uh, but one of our programs called the Broadcom Masters, mm -hmm. and Masters stands for Math, Applied Sciences, Technology, Engineering, Rising Stars, is actually the nation's premier, actually I should say worldwide, premier science and engineering fair for middle school students. We believe this partnership is amazing simply because, as Nancy pointed out, the Girl Scouts are the girl leaders and we are the STEM experts. So together, we have an opportunity to influence about 22,000 girls within Orange County. Wow. And uh, you know, the timing of this could not be perfect, mm -hmm. simply because we understand 
the nation's focus needs to be on STEM for our future. Yeah, definitely. That's incredible and astounding that you're doing that. Thanks so much, Prashanti. Nancy, back to you. A new badge for STEM in Orange County is a big deal. Absolutely. How are you going to engage the girls to say, I want to learn about STEM, I want this badge? Well, it's, it's a partnership between the consortium members, the Orange County businesses, and our girl members and our adult volunteers. So they all have a critical role in bringing this badge to life. So the STEM companies will be defining what the badge requirements are in partnership with mm -hmm. us as far as what they think the girls should be learning. And each of the partners has an option to link that requirement to their own business. Mm -hmm. The girls through strategy cafes, that's a way of gathering input and information and through surveys will be telling us what their interests are. And we're not expecting or really looking for the girl's interest in STEM. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the broad based interest of that age girls of what they're interested in. And so if I could give you an example, let's say we hear from girls that they're interested in their iPhones or their smartphones mm -hmm. and music and pictures and keeping all that together. Well, our, one of our new partners, Western Digital, who is a storage company, is looking at their requirement being around girls coming to understand how much of their collateral of photos and music and videos that they, how much storage they need mm -hmm. to store what they have and they're yes. interested in. So you can see how um, teaming the expertise of the business with the girls' interest comes together. I could definitely use that because my storage is always full of my photos. I was like, where's this cloud and <laughs> computing? That would be very beneficial. Exactly. Uh, what are the outcomes you're hoping to see through these STEM programs and the badge? Well, we're really trying to work on the statistics that I went over mm -hmm. earlier. We need the best and brightest of both genders um, making up and filling up those important STEM jobs of the future. Um, I w I'm a STEM girl, uh, and I actually use uh, STEM skills in my job every day. So even if a girl doesn't plan to go into a STEM field, we want the girls to stay in their STEM education so they get those critical thinking and problem solving skills that are so closely tied to that curriculum in school. And one last question before we wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to being the first to raise your hand, Broadcom saying we want to be at the table, what outcomes does Broadcom hope to see with your in initiative and being involved in this program? First and foremost at Broadcom, we understand the importance of STEM and 76% of our workforce are engineers. So we want more girl students being involved in STEM and not just being involved, but understanding that they can actually be successful in STEM um, secondly, we'd like for our community to understand that Girl Scouts, one of the most prominent leaders in the nation to develop our next generation girl leaders are uh, indeed very important to our community. It impacts each one of us and we want them to be supported. Now I'll give you an example. Holly Jackson, one of our Broadcom Masters past winners, she won $25,000 in our Broadcom Masters Nationals. Um, she had a passion to stitch. So she, uh, her program or her science project was about the uh, relationship between thread and materials. Oh, we call it materials yeah. engineering. And um, you know, she went after this, it was her passion. Uh -huh. And uh, she worked on it for many, many hours, obviously. Uh, she demonstrated the project-based uh, learning skills as we call it, the uh, communication, the creativity, the collaboration, critical thinking, and thereby, you know, the yeah. confidence that she brought to the table. perfect example of what you guys are doing. Yeah. So much synergies. Well, it's going to be an exciting time, and thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. To find out about our local programming, please visit our website, cops3.com. And to check out our community initiatives, visit cops-cares.org. Thanks for joining us.